Are you trying to choose between Monday.com and Smartsheet? Are you in the research phase and you're just trying to work out what Monday.com and Smartsheet are, what they do, what functionality they provide? Perhaps more importantly, are you trying to decide on which platform to go with? Well, if that's the case, then you've come to the right place because in this Monday.com versus Smartsheet video, I'm going to be providing you with as much information as I can to help you make an informed choice and to choose the platform that is best suited to your needs. So here is what I'm going to be covering. I'm going to start by giving you an overview of each company. I'm then going to be showing you uh, the tools in action. So a couple of little demos on Monday.com and Smartsheet so you can see them side by side, how they work, what they look like, the functionality on offer, etc. Then I'm going to be breaking down their pricing structure and what you can expect to pay for signing up to either tool. I'm then going to be showcasing some other customer reviews purely because I want this to be, you know, non-biased and I want to give you as, as much kind of um, information as possible uh, about what people are generally experiencing with these platforms. And then lastly, I'll finish up with some recommendations as to who I think uh, which platform is best for, you know, which use case. Um, you know, if you're a smaller organization, which which platforms to go with, if you're a larger organization, you know, if you work for yourself, etc, etc. So a little bit about each company. They are relatively similar in terms of what they were kind of designed for and who who they aim to serve. So you can pause this video if you wanted to read through any of this. I will just touch upon a couple of different things. Firstly, Smartsheet is the older of the two platforms. It was founded six years prior. In terms of its the, the user base, it's difficult to get an understanding of how many users Monday.com has. The only thing I could really find was that they have 186,000 paid customers. Now, bear in mind that a paid customer uh, may have you know thousands of users, so it's not a like-for-like -like comparison. Nevertheless, these are huge platforms, and they have a lot of different customers and users. Okay, I mean, Smartsheet alone has 13 and a half million. They both serve the operating systems Mac, Windows, Linux. So if you're using any of these, you will be supported. That's absolutely fantastic. In terms of mobile mobile compatibility, they both have their own apps. And whether you're using an Android, an iOS, or a Windows device, you will be able to access them uh, on the go. And in terms of deployment, they are both cloud-based. So what this essentially means is you log in via a web browser and everything is kind of stored in the cloud. There will be no kind of local file storage. And it means that everything kind of saves um, in, the, in the cloud. So yeah, anyone who accesses your account will be able to see uh, that information so long as they have been shared with it and you don't have kind of privacy settings in place. So in terms of the high level, I, I won't walk you, I won't read each one out, but essentially they are both all about team collaboration and project management. That's kind of core. The main differences are that Monday.com operates primarily off of what are known as customizable boards, whereas Smartsheet operates off of something called a grid, which is in many words, in, in, in other way uh, put, it's like a spreadsheet. But I'll be showing you that in a second. So on to the demo. Now, before I open up each tool, I do just want to quickly mention that I have produced comprehensive videos showcasing each product, so Monday.com and Smartsheet. I would recommend that you watch them if you're really looking for kind of a, a longer, more in-depth view of what they can both provide. So I'll leave links in the description uh, for those videos. But with that said, I'm now going to briefly showcase what these products look like and how they typically work. So I have just logged into my Monday.com and Smartsheet accounts. Bear in mind, I use these platforms in my organization, but I can't showcase those accounts uh, with you because of just data protection and privacy. So what I've done is I've just created these two new kind of dummy accounts and set up uh, some different kind of uh, views so we can just walk you through the functionality. So just bear that in mind as I go ahead. So we're in monday.com. Now, the first thing to kind of notice is I am in my home interface. Um, the, you'll notice at the top we've kind of got a domain here that can be changed if you wanted to do that. Okay. Now, in terms of the functionality of Monday.com, it's all kind of accessible via this home interface. You'll see these kind of core widget areas recently visited, so any file that you've opened. You've got an update feed, so in terms of the communications aspect of the tool, if you're kind of mentioned uh, in, in, a, in a message, then it'll come up here. As you'll see, I don't have anything in here at the moment. And you also have uh, your workspaces. So the way to imagine workspaces 
are as like a folder where a lots of your kind of documents can be stored. So you basically assign different documents to each workspace. Now the term workspace is also shared with Smartsheet. So there is workspace functionality in there and I'll be walking you through that shortly. The other thing to kind of get from here is there is a whole kind of learning uh, and help center which you can use to kind of make, make, make the most of the tool. So what I'm gonna show you now, here's the workspace that, we've, that I've kind of created. This is my, my main one, but I've also got another one just for my activities. So this is where I'm storing my to-do list. I just wanted to show you how kind of different files can be stored in different places. So in this main workspace, I've set up two uh, demo projects and I've also set up a dashboard um, just to showcase the, the functionality essentially. Now the way monday.com works, it's all kind of based on this, this particular view. Um, it's known as the main table, but you can create other views off of the back of it. I actually find building everything out in the main table the easiest way of doing that and then creating these other views uh, secondary to that. So as an example, what you can basically do is you can press this add view button and then if I was just pressing Gantt as an example, it will create a new view for the Gantt and it pulls in all of the information from the main table. So that's really, really nice. And I really like that about monday.com. In terms of how this all works, it's very similar to spreadsheet functionality. You've got columns and you've got rows and you just can manipulate them as you would in a, in a typical spreadsheet. So, you know, you can rename these. Um, you can, you know, there's lots of different customizations you can do. These are called groups and you can change the name of the groups if you wanted to and the color coding. Now, when it comes to manipulating this particular grid, uh, there's different types of columns. So as an example, these are drop downs. This is a drop down. You've also got this timeline, which is like a date style column. There's also the ability to have kind of financial columns such as the budget, et cetera, et cetera. When it comes to setting up new columns, it's really, really simple. All you need to do is just press this plus button and then you just choose, choose from all of the different options that are available to us. There is the ability to have formulas. Formulas work slightly differently in monday.com, but you can use them nevertheless. So this is what a project looks like. Creating a new project is really simple. You just press add item to workspace and then you basically just press uh, new project. Um, or alternatively, alternatively, excuse me, you can click on new board. Now in terms of the differences between them, they're very, very similar. They both provide you with a view like this. They're just slightly different in terms of their customization off of the bat. So as an example, a new board has doesn't have like some of these columns in there by default. So I created a second demo project. It was literally a duplicate. So all I did there was create this one first and then I duplicated it using this button here just so that I could pull together a quick dashboard and just show you, show you what a dashboard looks like, how it kind of works. So as you can see, I've connected two boards. These are the two boards that I've connected. And yeah, it's doing some analysis on the, the information that's contained within these projects. So as an example, I've got a total budget. It's summing the budget columns. We've got an overview of the projects. We've got a little chart here and all you do basically to build a dashboard is you just press this add widget button and choose uh, from the various different options. There's lots of options in here. You can also integrate with other apps as well, which is really, really useful. And setting this up is an absolute breeze. You just select the option uh, and then you basically just go through the settings options to, you know, choose what you're looking to do. So it's really, really simple um, and it doesn't take too long. You can change it, obviously, the axis. Uh, you can change the settings, the board, etc. So that really is monday.com. It's it's useful for so many different purposes and, and teams and organizations. A lot of marketing teams use it as an example. One other thing I haven't mentioned is that there are a lot of templates in here off of the out of the bat. Um, so where is it? Uh, choose from templates. And so you can get up, uh, get started and set up very, very quickly. So IT service desk as an example, social media planner, single marketing project, recruitment pipeline, you know, there's lots in here by default. And there's also, if you look here, um, there's also templates via different functions as well, whether it's software development, product management, etc. One other thing I haven't actually quickly mentioned um, is the fact that you can set up automations. So this just makes your life a lot easier. It's very, very simple. You literally just press, you go into the board that you want the automation on. So as an example, demo project one, you click automate and then you basically press add automation and then you just run through this process it's very very simple you select uh, the column that you want to refer to and you know the action that follows after it so i just wanted to show you that there are automations in place can make your life so much easier now the other thing you can do obviously is manipulate your entire kind of account you do that via your your uh, person icon on the top right uh, you can change that you know import data set up automations with other tools 
you know, there's a development aspect to it. So you can access your trash, uh, admin. So there's all, all of this as well. You can set up do not disturb. Um, you can change theme, et cetera, et cetera. So this is all in here. It's a really useful kind of intuitive tool. So with that said, I now want to open up Smartsheet where I'm just gonna be showcasing essentially how this works. So very, very similar in some respects. You've got this panel on the left-hand side. And from here, I'm on the home interface at present moment. So here again, it just gives you some suggestions as to the different files that you may be interested in. That's all related to your account and your activity within it. You've got notifications. So again, if anyone kind of ats you or messages you, then you, it, you'll pick it up here. Um, this is where you can kind of browse. So this is kind of, this is a screen you'll spend a lot of time in, in, in Smartsheet. It's basically how all your files are organized. So again, the term workspace, you know, we saw that in monday.com. This is essentially how we store, store our files, if you like. So I've got a demo project created under this main workspace. You can set up as many workspaces as you want. There's also uh, the ability to see what you've recently opened, your favorites as well. There's also different apps and integrations that you can leverage. And you can also use this um, create button to leverage all of the different uh, templates that have been kind of built into the system by default. So as you'll see, there's a whole kind of project management office set up that you can leverage, work breakdown structure. It is just so much that you can kind of leverage from the outset. Now, if I actually show you what the functionality looks like, I'm gonna open up a demo project. Now, the way Smartsheet works, you have kind of three different types of resources. You've got a grid, a report, and a dashboard. They're the three main to kind of bear in mind. So this is a grid. And as you can see here, I'm gonna close this off. This is very much like a spreadsheet. So it looks, it looks more like Excel. And you do have a little bit more control compared to uh, monday.com. So as an example, if I was to go into the notes section, if you wanted to use formulas in Smartsheet, you literally, you you know, you go through the usual process as you would with say Microsoft Excel, equals VLOOKUP, et cetera. And there is a lot of uh, resources that you can leverage to learn how to use uh, formulas if you did want to use them, but that's how it kind of works. Now it's very, very similar in respect, in respect you have columns and rows. You can set up columns, you know, right click, insert column, right insert column, left. Um, you can have drop down. So it all works in similar ways like that. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to show you that. There's also this kind of parent, um, so you've got a parent and child uh, relationship going on here. So you can kind of indent and you've got this ability to expand, collapse, etc. There's also all this kind of formatting options, which you don't have in monday.com. So as an example, if you wanted that in red, you, you could have that in red. Um, it's a little bit more like Excel in that respect. And you have the ability to just make some formatting changes. You've got conditional formatting, highlighting changes. You can put links in here. You can link cells together. So it is it is a bit more, I would say that you have a bit more control in, in Smartsheet. There's more you can do in that respect. You can also have conversations on individual sheets as well, attach individual um, uh, items to individual sheets or even individual rows. You can attach items to rows. Uh, you also have the ability to uh, send update requests. So let's just say we needed, let's say Bob was assigned to subtask one. You could send an up, update request saying, Bob, we really need you to update the allocation column uh, for subtask one. As an example, you have the ability to view the activity log. There's a summary and there's also uh, this here, which allows you to use different connectors to you know, Salesforce or whatever system you're using. In terms of automation, you can set that up on the sheet level. You literally just create a new workflow via this button. And you can also set up forms as well to collect information from uh, different stakeholders, whether they are internal or external. You can also get kind of a link to the, that form so they don't have to open up the sheet. They just literally open up the form in front of them. So I'm just going to quickly show you the dashboards to show you how that kind of works. So again, you have a little bit more flexibility in terms of creating and managing dashboards. As an example, this is a title, so you can change the name. You also can change the colors and things like that. And in terms of the actual um, widget areas, metric, chart, shortcut, report, title, rich text. So it's kind of similar, but you can put images on there, which is quite nice. So it's kind of similar. It's kind of when you kind of go to edit it, you get these little grid lines and you can basically kind of drag and drop them accordingly. So it is really useful. I really like the, the dashboards in uh, Smartsheet. It's really, really good if you've got to report to senior stakeholders. I've actually moved that over too far. Um, that's not lined up, it's gonna annoy me. Um, and yeah, it's, it's a very, very good um, means of providing project updates to your stakeholders. 
So this this is really how it works. It's, it's slightly di- obviously it's slightly different, but it works in in, in many ways the same. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to head back to the slides now to continue by looking at the pricing. Now I forgot to mention that both Monday.com and Smartsheet have a free trial available. So I would strongly recommend that you sign up for a free trial for both, just to test out the tools and see how they kind of work. Maybe plug in your data and just get a better feel for them. So I think Monday.com has a 14 day free trial of the pro plan. Smartsheet is I think 30 days of the equivalent. So there'll be a link in the description below to take you over to Monday.com. I'll also leave a link for Smartsheet so that you can get your hands on that trial. So I now just want to briefly touch upon pricing, which is relatively similar, at least for the standard plans. Now I do need to make um, a note that um, if you're a larger organization, you will likely need an enterprise plan. And for, for the pricing on those plans, you will need to contact the respective sales team and they will give you a bespoke quote based on your needs and how you'll be using each platform. So. That's one thing to bear in mind, you probably have to have a meeting with them. So yeah, enterprise plans aren't included. In terms of the kind of standard plans, as I've mentioned before, they are kind of similar in terms of how much they will cost you and also how the kind of process works. So you essentially pay for the number of users within your account and how many people will be accessing your account. So in monday.com terminology, it's you pay per seat whereas in Smartsheet it's per user, but it kind of equates to the same thing. So obviously I don't know you know, your needs, how many people in your organization, what you want to use in terms of functionality. So the best thing I can suggest here is just to go over to both platforms and literally kind of plug in how many users you want uh, and, and then just look through the different pricing um, plans that are become available to you. Just be mindful of the functionality that you get for what plan you're signing up for. Uh, as some are quite limited. So as an example, uh, the free plan on monday.com seems to be a little bit more, uh, you get a little bit more um, access than you do on the free plan in Smartsheet. Just bear that in mind. Now, the other thing to mention is that the price is displayed on screen and just in general, these are provided in, so you basically save more money if you sign up to a yearly plan. If you pay on a monthly basis, it's slightly more expensive. So just bear that in mind as well. So now I just want to touch on other customer reviews. These, these screenshots are both taken from a site called G2. Now, if you are looking for more, you know, more customer reviews and what other people are thinking, then I would suggest that you navigate over to that website. It's really, really advanced. You can just delve into um, you know, high level summaries of what different customers are saying, but you can also just have a look at how the, the platforms fare against different objective measures. Smartsheet does appear to have more reviews at 15,000 at time of recording, um, but it has a slightly lower score than that of monday.com. Uh, in terms of the breakdown, um, it does appear that, that they do, they, they fare both well, uh, on mostly getting five stars and then kind of slightly getting four stars as well. Um, in terms of the one star the platforms, these, these platforms don't really have many of them, which is great. And yeah, having used both of these platforms for a long, you know, long time, that doesn't surprise me either. So yeah, what I'm trying to suggest here, if you want to learn more about what other people are saying and really delve into other reviews, g2.com is a good uh, reference uh, that I would suggest you check out. So lastly, who do I recommend each platform for? Well, personally, I think monday.com is best for kind of any individual or small business, anyone who's got kind of really kind of basic reporting needs and anyone who's like, so if you're kind of a, an HR department, as an example, it would probably be more suitable for you, especially if you don't need to make a lot of kind of advanced um, reporting or you don't need to you know, delve into the weeds as much. And I think monday.com is gonna be, is gonna be great for you. I've put a couple of example teams here, sales teams, marketing teams, HR teams. I think you'd, you'd get a lot out of that tool. Smartsheet on the, on, the, on the other hand is great for anyone who needs kind of more advanced spreadsheet functionality and is just looking for more control. Um, large organizations typically get, you know, do well out of it, especially those with complex project requirements uh, and requirements for kind of aut more automations and things like that. Maybe you need to send forms and things like that to different stakeholders and Smartsheet is great for that. PMOs and project management teams also will do really, really well with Smartsheet. So that's perhaps um, a recommendation for you there. 
So I hope this video is useful. Any questions, comments, feedback, drop them down below. And with all that said, over to you. Best of luck with whatever platform you decide to go with. And I hope you have an excellent day.